My name is Doug Brown. Uh, we're outside of the Opera House in Toronto, Canada right now, uh, where Metallica is going to do their only Canadian club show. And I am the largest collector of Metallica memorabilia in the country. <laughs> I started collecting at a very young age. My cousin got me a copy of the Black Album on cassette. Um, so for my eighth birth birthday, Danny gave me this cassette and then I was interested in the music so much I wanted cassette singles and I started I'm essentially just finding part-time jobs just so I could start buying more and more things. So when I was in high school, I was working at a library and every penny I would just go down to the HMV and buy import CDs. Um, one day I was at a shop, Rotate This, downtown Toronto and I picked up a, like a vinyl copy of Ride the Lightning and it looked a little different than, than my CD copy and then all of a sudden I had two and then I was like okay I should probably go find the cassette of that because I don't have that on cassette yet and that was the point it started to spiral out of control so I started importing from all around the world when the, when the eBay factor kind of came into play I, I realized I could get promos and I could start getting every single country of origin possible the internet's an amazing resource for stuff like this, so you can you can essentially go online and, and realize there's an online community of different collectors. And uh, an example being if an album is released, I'll go and I'll buy 50 copies of it, and then I'll ship it to 50 different people all around the world, and they will ship me different pressings from their country. And we've been doing this for you know about 15, 16 years now. Some of the toughest things to find are those those early 80s items, which I am slowly plugging away at. But but currently I have 850 vinyl and CD variations of metallic items and another two to three thousand pieces of Metallica memorabilia from all around the world. I have a, a series of very rare test pressings. I have some uncut clear picture discs of the Jump in the Fire item, both with and without barcode. A couple early Cliff Burton autographs, a uh, fully autographed version of uh, Master of Puppets. There really is no end goal, and, and I'd hope that there would be no end goal, and that's one thing that's common between all types of collectors. So, people who uh, collect, uh, you know, stamps and coins, say, if you got it all, you just probably start collecting something else. So, at one point I wanted every single, you know, version of, of Kill 'Em All on vinyl. You know what, once I hit 65 vinyl copies of Kill 'Em All, I, I, I realized like, I'm never gonna get them all, right? And I'm, I'm glad that there's no end goal, but at the same time, it's like this, like, you know, this asymptote. You just keep getting closer and closer, but you're never gonna approach zero. To me, my most prized possession is my cassette copy of the Black Album. That's the very first cassette I ever got when I was eight, right? So it's kind of the thing, it's absolutely worthless and it's beat to shit, and I bet it wouldn't even play. Like, I have like 10,000 records in my house of all different types of music, but without that one cassette, I probably wouldn't have gone down this journey. Whoa!